Hey, coin collectors and treasure hunters! Welcome back to the channel where we explore some of the most fascinating and valuable coins out there. Today, we've got something really special. What if I told you a 2009 D quarter dollar coin could be worth a staggering 1.1 million asterisk? Yep, you heard that right. Stick around to learn why this simple quarter could be your golden ticket to a fortune. Let's kick things off by talking about the coin itself. The 2009 D Washington Quarter is part of the District of Columbia and U.S. Territories Quarters Program. This specific coin was minted in Denver, marked with a D mint mark, and it features a design commemorating various U.S. territories, including Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, and Guam. While millions of these were minted, there are some unique variations and minting errors that have made a few of these coins worth more than anyone could ever imagine. Let's dig into why this quarter is creating such buzz in the numismatic world. So, why exactly is the 2009 D quarter dollar worth $1.1 million? Well, the answer lies in its rarity, and more specifically, the rare minting errors associated with certain coins from this year. One of the major reasons collectors are paying big bucks for this coin is due to a rare minting error that occurred during the production process. Some 2009 D quarters have been found with double dies, off center strikes, or die breaks. These kinds of errors are what truly drive up the value. Coins with these kinds of minting flaws are extremely rare, and when a collector finds one in pristine condition, especially in high grades like mint state, emis, or higher, the value can skyrocket. Now, let's talk about how these coins can reach the jaw-dropping $1.1 million value. First, the condition of the coin plays a huge role. A coin that is graded by the Professional Coin Grading Service or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, as MS68 or higher can fetch massive sums. The highest graded coins with rare errors are the ones fetching prices like $1.1 million at auctions. On top of that, demand from collectors and scarcity further increase the value of these coins. So, if you find one of these rare gems in perfect condition, you could be sitting on a million-dollar treasure. If you're wondering how to find one of these valuable quarters, here are some tips. First, check your change or coin rolls for the 2009 D mint mark. Then, closely inspect the coin for any minting errors like doubling, off-centering, or unusual details. You'll want to use a magnifying glass or even a digital microscope to get a really good look. If you think you found something special, it's worth getting the coin professionally graded to determine its true value. So, there you have it. The 2009 D quarter dollar could be worth a life-changing $1.1 million if you find the right one. Check your pocket change, go through your coin collections, and who knows? You might just strike it rich. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about valuable coins, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest coin news. And as always, drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you found any rare coins yourself. We've got a super exciting topic to dive into the 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. Now, you might be wondering why this particular nickel is so special. Well, stick around as we uncover the history, value, and worth of this little coin that could potentially be worth millions. Let's start off by taking a trip down memory lane to 1986. It was a time of big hair, neon colors, and of course, some pretty cool coins. The 1986 D Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel was minted in Denver, Colorado, hence the D Mint Mark. This mint mark is a symbol of where the coin was produced, and collectors often pay close attention to mint marks when determining the value of a coin and now. You might be wondering why a seemingly ordinary nickel from 1986 could be worth so much. Well, it all comes down to rarity and demand. The 1986 D mint Mark Jefferson nickel is not particularly rare in terms of mintage numbers, but what sets it apart is its condition. If you happen to have a nickel from 1986 with the D mint Mark in mint condition, free of any scratches or blemishes, you could be holding onto a treasure worth millions, you see. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that are in pristine condition, especially when it comes to rare or historical coins like the 1986 D Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. So, what exactly makes this coin so special? Well, for starters, the design of the Jefferson Nickel has remained relatively consistent over the years, with Thomas Jefferson's portrait on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. However, each year the Mint produces these coins, there are slight variations in the design and production process, 
making some years more valuable than others. Die in the case of the 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel, there are a few key factors that contribute to its worth. One of the most important factors is the condition of the coin. As mentioned earlier, coins in mint condition are highly sought after by collectors, and the 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is no exception. If you happen to come across one of these coins in pristine condition, hold on to it tightly as it could fetch you a pretty penny. Another factor that adds to the value of the 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is its historical significance. While this particular coin might not have any major historical events associated with it, the mere fact that it was minted in 1986 adds a level of nostalgia for collectors. Plus, the D-Mint Mark signifies that it was produced in Denver, which adds another layer of interest for coin enthusiasts. Now, let's talk about the current value of the 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. While it's difficult to pinpoint an exact value for this coin due to fluctuating market prices and individual preferences of collectors, it's safe to say that a well-preserved specimen could potentially be worth thousands, if not millions. Remember, the value of a coin is ultimately determined by what someone is willing to pay for it, so don't be afraid to do some research and reach out to experts in the field to get a better idea of what your coin might be worth. If you're lucky enough to have a 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel in your possession, consider getting it appraised by a professional to get a better understanding of its true value. Who knows, you could be sitting on a gold mine without even knowing it. And remember, even if your coin isn't worth millions, the joy of collecting and owning a piece of history is priceless in itself. So there you have it, folks, the 1986 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel, a coin that holds a lot more value and worth than meets the eye. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye out for. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 2007 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. This little piece of American currency holds a rich history and potential value that could be worth millions. First off, let's talk about the background of the 2007 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. As you may know, the Jefferson Nickel has been in circulation since 1938 and features a profile of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse side. The P Mint Mark indicates that this particular nickel was minted at the Philadelphia Mint one of the oldest minting facilities in the United States. Now, what sets the 2007 P nickel apart from other Jefferson nickels? Well, in 2007, the United States Mint released a special commemorative series to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Thomas Jefferson's birth. This series featured a new reverse design on the nickel, showcasing a forward-facing portrait of Jefferson in his historic home, Monticello. The 2007 P Mint Mark Jefferson nickel is unique in that it is the only nickel to feature this special redesign, making it a highly sought-after coin among collectors. The design is intricate and detailed, capturing the essence of Jefferson's legacy and contributions to American history. But what about the value of the 2007 P Mint Mark Jefferson nickel? While most circulated coins are worth face value, there are rare instances where a coin's condition, rarity, and historical significance can push its value into the millions. For example, in 2016, a rare 1943 copper alloy cent sold for a whopping $1.7 million at auction. This goes to show that the value of a coin is not simply determined by its denomination, but by a combination of factors that make it unique and desirable to collectors. So, do 2007 P Mint Mark Jefferson nickels hold the same potential for high value? Well, while the majority of these nickels are not worth millions, there are a few rare varieties that can fetch a hefty sum on the collector's market. Point one such variety is the 2007 P nickel with a full step designation. This means that the steps on Monticello on the reverse side of the coin are fully struck and defined. Coins with full steps are highly sought after by collectors because they are considered a sign of quality and rarity. Another valuable variety to look out for is the 2007 P nickel with an error or misprint. These coins can range from minor errors, such as off-center strikes or double dies, to major errors that drastically affect the coin's appearance. Error coins are highly sought after by collectors for their uniqueness and rarity. So, how can you determine the value of your 2007 P mint Mark Jefferson nickel? One way is to consult with a professional coin appraiser or dealer who can assess the coin's condition, rarity, and demand in the market. They can provide you with an estimate of the coin's value and help you decide whether to keep, sell, or trade it. Another option is to research recent sales of similar coins on online marketplaces and auction sites. By comparing prices and listings, you can get a sense of the current market value of your coin and determine the best course of action for your collection. In conclusion, 
The 2007 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is a unique and historically significant coin that holds the potential for high value among collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a casual coin enthusiast, this coin is definitely worth exploring and adding to your collection. So, keep an eye out for any 2007 P Nickels in your pocket change or coin jar, you never know when you might come across a rare and valuable gem. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting and taking a close look at a rare and valuable 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel. This elusive coin has captured the attention of collectors around the world, with some speculating that it could be worth millions. So, grab a cup of coffee and let's embark on this thrilling numismatic adventure together. First off, let's delve into the history of the 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel. In 1974, the U.S. Mint produced a limited number of nickels without the usual P or D mint mark. These coins were struck in error and quickly became coveted by collectors for their rarity and uniqueness. The absence of a mint mark on these nickels only adds to their mystique, making them a prized addition to any coin collection. Now, you might be wondering, how do you spot a 1974 no mint mark Jefferson nickel? Well, these coins can be identified by carefully examining the reverse side of the coin. If you don't see a mint mark below the Monticello building, congratulations, you may have just stumbled upon a valuable treasure. In terms of value, the 1974 no mint mark Jefferson nickel is one of the most sought after coins in the numismatic world. Some experts believe that it could be worth as much as millions of dollars, depending on its condition and rarity. Imagine stumbling upon one of these rare gems in your pocket change, talk about a stroke of luck, of course. Finding a 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel is no easy feat these coins are incredibly rare, with only a handful known to exist. If you do manage to get your hands on one, be sure to have it authenticated by a professional coin grading service to confirm its authenticity and value. Now, let's talk about some of the factors that can influence the value of a 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel. The condition of the coin is paramount, with uncirculated examples fetching the highest prices. Additionally, coins with sharp strikes and no visible wear will command a premium from collectors of furthermore, the rarity of the 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel plays a significant role in determining its value. As previously mentioned, these coins are extremely scarce, with only a few known to exist. This rarity factor, combined with the coin's historical significance, makes it a highly coveted item among numismatists. If you're looking to add a 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel to your collection, be prepared to do some extensive research and possibly invest in professional grading services. While the odds of finding one of these rare coins in circulation are slim, they do occasionally surface at coin shows, auctions, and estate sales. Keep your eyes peeled and you just might snag a piece of numismatic history. In conclusion, the 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel is a truly unique and valuable coin that has captivated the hearts of collectors around the globe. Its rarity, historical significance, and potential for high value make it a standout piece in any coin collection. So, if you ever come across one of these elusive nickels, consider yourself extremely fortunate, you may be holding a small fortune in your hands, and there you have it, folks, a deep dive into the fascinating world of the 1974 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel. We hope you enjoyed learning about this rare and valuable coin, and perhaps you've been inspired to start your own numismatic journey. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a focus on the 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. You might be surprised to learn just how much this seemingly ordinary coin can be worth, so stick around to find out more. Let's start off by exploring the history of the 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. This particular coin was minted in Denver, Colorado in the year 1999, hence the D-Mint Mark. It features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse side in Monticello his iconic home, on the reverse. The design of this coin was actually introduced in 1938 and has remained relatively unchanged since then. Now, you might be wondering why the 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel is so highly sought after by collectors. Well, one reason is its low mintage. In 1999, the Denver Mint only produced a limited number of these nickels, making them quite rare compared to other coins of the same era. Additionally, the condition of the coin plays a significant role in determining its value. A well-preserved 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel can fetch a much higher price than one that is heavily worn or damaged, but just how much is a 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel worth? Well, that's where things get really interesting. 
While most circulated 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickels are only worth face value, those that are in pristine condition can be worth thousands, if not millions, of dollars. That's right, a seemingly ordinary coin from 1999 could potentially be a hidden gem in your collection, in fact, there have been reported sales of 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickels for upwards of $10,000 or more. Of course, the exact value of a coin depends on a variety of factors such as its grade, rarity, and demand in the market. So, if you happen to come across a 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel in your pocket change or at a coin show, be sure to have it appraised by a reputable coin dealer to see if you've struck it rich. One of the most interesting aspects of coin collecting is the thrill of the hunt. Searching through pocket change, attending coin auctions, and trading with other collectors can be an exciting and rewarding experience. The 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel is just one example of how a seemingly ordinary coin can hold significant value for those in the know.so, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for the 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel and other rare coins that could potentially be worth a small fortune. Who knows, you might just stumble upon a valuable treasure that could change your life. In conclusion, the 1999 D-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is a prime example of how a seemingly ordinary coin can hold significant value for collectors. With its low mintage, historical significance, and potential worth in the thousands, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye out for in your collection. So, happy hunting, and good luck on your coin collecting journey! We're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of numismatics and explore the history and value of the 1982 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin has the potential to be worth millions. So grab your magnifying glass and let's embark on this treasure hunt together. First off, let's talk about the history of the 1982 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. This particular coin was minted in Denver in the year 1982, hence the D-Mint Mark. The Jefferson nickel has been in circulation since 1938, replacing the Buffalo nickel. Its design features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, Jefferson's home, on the reverse. The 1982 D mint Mark Jefferson nickel is not particularly rare, with a mintage of over 575 million. However, what sets this coin apart is its potential for error variations. One of the most sought after error coins from this year is the No Mint Mark variety where the coin was struck without the D-Mint mark. These error coins are highly prized by collectors and can command a premium price. In addition to error variations, the 1982 D-Mint mark Jefferson nickel can also be valuable based on its condition. Coins that are in mint condition, with no signs of wear or damage, are more desirable to collectors. So if you happen to come across a 1982 D-Mint mark Jefferson nickel in pristine condition, it could be worth a pretty penny. Now let's talk about the value of the 1982 D-Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. While most circulated coins from this year are worth face value, there are certain rare varieties that can fetch a significant sum. The No-Mint Mark Error coin, for example, can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on its condition and demand. In addition to error coins, there are also certain key dates and mint marks for the Jefferson nickel series that are highly sought after by collectors. Coins from the early years of the series, such as the 1938D and 1938S nickels, are considered rare and valuable. So if you have a 1982D mint Mark Jefferson nickel in mint condition, it could be worth a substantial amount to the right collector. It's important to note that the value of coins can fluctuate based on market demand and condition. If you're considering selling your 1982D mint Mark Jefferson nickel, it's a good idea to have it appraised by a professional coin dealer to get an accurate valuation. You never know, you might just have a hidden gem in your coin collection. In conclusion, the 1982 D Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is a fascinating coin with the potential to be worth millions. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye out for. Who knows, you might just uncover a rare treasure in your pocket change. We're diving into the intriguing world of numismatics to talk about a rare and valuable piece of American currency, the 2014 D Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. This particular coin has stirred up quite a buzz in the collecting community, with some speculating that it could be worth millions. But just how did this unassuming nickel from 2014 become such a hot commodity? Let's find out. First off, let's address the elephant in the room. What exactly is a mint mark? Well, a mint mark is a small letter or symbol stamped onto a coin that indicates which mint facility produced it. 
In the case of the 2014 D nickel, the D mint mark signifies that the coin was minted at the Denver Mint. Knowing where a coin was minted can have a significant impact on its value, as coins from certain facilities may be rarer or have unique characteristics. Now, onto the history of the 2014 D mint mark Jefferson nickel. The Jefferson nickel has been in circulation since 1938, featuring a portrait of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, on the obverse side. The reverse design of the nickel has changed several times over the years, with the 2014 D mint mark nickel showcasing Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia plantation, on the reverse die in 2014. The Denver Mint produced a relatively high number of Jefferson nickels with the D mint mark. However, a small percentage of these coins were struck with errors or variations that make them stand out from the rest. It is these rare error coins that collectors are now clamoring to get their hands on, fueling speculation that the 2014 D mint mark Jefferson nickel could potentially be worth millions. So, what exactly makes these error coins so valuable? Well, in the world of coin collecting, rarity is king. If a coin is scarce due to a printing mistake or other unique characteristic, its value can skyrocket. In the case of the 2014 D mint mark nickel, collectors are on the lookout for coins with errors such as off center strikes, missing mint marks, or other anomalies that set them apart from the regular coins. But how can you tell if you have a valuable 2014 D mint mark Jefferson nickel in your possession? The key is to carefully examine the coin for any unusual features that could indicate it is an error coin. Look for misaligned mint marks, doubling on the design, or any other irregularities that could make your coin more valuable. Of course, it's always a good idea to consult with a professional coin dealer or appraiser to get an expert opinion on the worth of your coin, while the possibility of owning a 2014 D mint mark Jefferson nickel worth millions is certainly exciting, it's important to approach coin collecting with a sense of caution. Not every coin with a mint mark error will be worth a fortune, and the value of a coin can fluctuate based on market demand and other factors. That being said, the thrill of the hunt and the excitement of potentially uncovering a hidden gem in your coin collection is what makes numismatics such a fascinating hobby. To in conclusion, the 2014 D mint mark Jefferson nickel is a prime example of how a seemingly ordinary coin can become a sought after treasure in the world of coin collecting. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, Keeping an eye out for rare and valuable coins like the 2014 D mint mark nickel can add an extra layer of excitement to your numismatic pursuits. So, happy hunting, and may you uncover a hidden gem in your collection worth millions. We are diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the 1985 P mint mark Jefferson nickel. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could potentially be worth millions. So, grab your magnifying glass and let's explore the history, value, and worth of this rare and valuable coin. Let's start with a bit of history. The Jefferson nickel has been in circulation since 1938, featuring a portrait of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, on the obverse side. The reverse side typically depicts Jefferson's Monticello estate. However, in 1985, something special happened, the Philadelphia Mint released a limited number of Jefferson nickels with the elusive P mint mark. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal about the P mint mark? Well, let me tell you, my friends, the P mint mark indicates that the coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, which is one of the oldest and most prestigious mints in the United States. Coins with the P mint mark are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and historical significance. To I, in the case of the 1985 P mint mark Jefferson nickel, only a small number of these coins were struck, making them incredibly rare and valuable. In fact, some experts believe that a 1985 P nickel in pristine condition could be worth millions of dollars to the right collector. Imagine stumbling upon one of these rare gems in your pocket change, talk about a stroke of luck, so, how can you determine the value of your 1985 P mint mark Jefferson nickel? Well, there are a few key factors to consider. First and foremost, the condition of the coin plays a significant role in determining its worth. A coin that is in flawless, uncirculated condition will fetch a higher price than one that shows signs of wear and tear. Additionally, the rarity of the coin also plays a crucial role in its value. As we mentioned earlier, the 1985 P mint mark Jefferson nickel is already rare due to its limited mintage. However, factors such as the number of surviving coins in mint condition and the demand from collectors can also impact the coin's worth, but wait, there's more. In addition to its historical significance and rarity, 
The 1985 P-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel also has a unique design that sets it apart from other coins in the series. The coin features a detailed portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse side, along with the iconic Monticello estate on the reverse side. The intricate details and crisp strike of the coin make it a true work of art that is sure to captivate any collector's attention. Now, you might be wondering, how can I tell if I have a 1985 P-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel in my collection? Well, the easiest way to identify the coin is by looking for the P-Mint Mark on the obverse side of the coin, near the base of Monticello. If you spot the elusive P, congratulations, you may have a rare and valuable coin in your possession. In conclusion, the 1985 P-Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is a true treasure in the world of numismatics. With its rarity, historical significance, and unique design, this coin has captured the hearts of collectors around the world. So, if you happen to come across one of these rare gems in your collection, consider yourself lucky, you may be holding a small fortune in your hands. Keep on collecting, my friends, and may your coin hunts be fruitful and exciting.